we think are going to benefit from what's happened on the commodity play. Mauritius registered boutique bank AfroAsia is expanding its South African base by opening representative offices in Johannesburg and Cape Town. This is the most significant expansion since the 2007 launch of the bank and demonstrates the growing success of its unique banking model. James Benua, CEO of AfroAsia Bank, spoke to me about the country's banking landscape. Afrasia Bank is a boutique uh, regional corporate and private bank uh, based in Mauritius but with uh, capacities across Singapore, India and increasingly now in Africa with the uh, setup of rep offices this week in uh, Cape Town and Johannesburg. Why exactly do you call it a boutique bank? Uh, we're not a mass market retail bank. We don't have branches everywhere. It's very focused, corporate, institutional, private clients, a very focused delivery mechanism. So uh, very specialized in trade, investment, and uh, private client wealth management. Why did the bank decide to go into partnership with India's ICICI Bank? Right. Uh, Mauritius' jurisdiction uh, comprises 50% of all investment into India. Uh, so a tie-up with ICIC, ICICI uh, is, uh, uh, gives us a one-stop solution for investment and custody and stockbroking into India. So that's the nature of the, uh, the tie-up. Are you expecting a lot of investment to come through from India? Uh, into Africa, increasingly we are seeing uh, Indian corporates are uh, looking at investments Mauritius here. specifically? Uh, yes, through Mauritius as well. They will use Mauritius as a regional treasury uh, or holding base for their investments into Africa. So we do see that. Already. What are the fundamentals of AfroAsia Bank? The fundamentals are that we are majority owned uh, out of Mauritius but with shareholders here in uh, South Africa and in Singapore and really trying to be a, a regional, uh, I guess, uh, super bank in, in corporate and private banking in that jurisdictional area. Yeah. Paint us a picture of the landscape of the banking industry in Mauritius. Uh, Mauritius is well banked in terms of a domestic economy, but uh, Mauritius really is a regional financial services center. We like to think it will be a miniature of Singapore for the region. So um, there's a lot of banks in Mauritius, but many of us are serving uh, greater Africa, India, and, and from Southeast Asia. So it's a very dynamic market with all the big global banks there, and then boutiques like ourselves and big strong uh, domestic banks as well. Yeah. We're going to see a lot of in international investors coming through to Mauritius, and we'll mm -hmm. be working very closely with uh, the banks in Mauritius. How exactly will it change the relationship of investors coming into Mauritius? Um, in terms of investors coming into Mauritius, what they now have is an increased capability of a variety of, of, of banks and, and companies like ourselves who, who are open architecture. We can deal with a lot of partners. We do investment products with JP Morgan. Mm -hmm. uh, we do our custody tie-up with ICICI. We have a, a private equity firm here from, uh, from uh, Cape Town. So I think uh, a lot more partnerships and nimble operations rather than just global banks per se. So that's what we see quite an opportunity to, uh, to offer services throughout the region in partnership. Is it easy for investors to come and bank in Mauritius? Very easy. Mauritius, really, you can uh, set up a company in, in, I think, even under three days. Uh, we set up our banking license very quickly. You have to do all the due diligence, but the regulators are very committed to fast and efficiency, and uh, an application comes in. It, it doesn't sit. It has to get processed very quickly. Yeah. Tourism is obviously the mainstay mm -hmm. of, of Mauritius uh, thus far. Mm -hmm. What is banking industry bringing to Mauritius? Uh, banking, because of the global and the regional nature of it, uh, banking is around 12% sense of GDP, so it's very big. Obviously, tourism has been the mainstay, mm -hmm. but uh, banking is becoming, and financial services generally, has, has always been, in the last decade, a very important part, and we see that uh, continuing strongly in the next decade. Yeah. Are you expanding elsewhere? Uh, we, well, with the custody and tie-up arrangements we have in India, and now that we have our rep offices here, we're also looking to do an investment into a corporate finance uh, house here in South Africa, and uh, we have our sites set on other banking licenses in the region, but nothing firm yet. Yeah. Are you, uh, can South African banks as well as Indian banks list on the Mauritius Stock Exchange? They could if they wish to. Um, uh, I don't believe, I think there's only one Indian bank subsidiary which is listed on the Stock Exchange, um, but there aren't other banks listed at this time, but th that could happen. We may do that at some stage as well. The outlook for the banking industry in Mauritius, are you bullish on it? Very bullish. We've come through the crisis unscathed, uh, very low leverage, strong capital base, and uh, looking very good for the next uh, several years. Well, that's a wrap from me. Remember, you can email us at africa at cnbcafrica.